and welcome to my world. It's Alexis Manchette and today we are going to talk about being in the middle and not giving up on your dreams. Everybody wants to give up sometimes when you are doing something great, when you are going after your dream, there does become a moment where everybody is just like, bump this, I don't want to do this anymore, this is really, really hard, this is difficult, I'm going through too much right now. By giving up, you are doing yourself and the world a disservice. You matter. Somebody needs what you have. If you don't show up, there's something to lose. They're going to lose something by you not being there because there's something that you have to offer that nobody else does. You have the power to change somebody's life, but you have to show up for them and you have to show up for yourself. One of the gifts God gave me is the ability to make people believe in themselves because I see the things that they don't see about themselves. So I don't have a choice but to show up. I have to show up for them no matter how I feel. I have to show up for them because it's a gift that God gave me. And I won't let my gift or my talent go to waste because I've had a bad day or a rough week. You have to keep in mind that this part of your journey is temporary. It's a part of the process. This too shall pass. You won't be here forever. Even though it feels that way sometimes, it's going to end. Everything ends. There's always a new season. Keep that in mind, you're gonna be fine. It's okay to get frustrated. It's okay to have a day where you wanna quit. It's okay to cry. You just can't quit. Quitting is just not an option. The road to your dreams can be incredibly frustrating and rough. There are gonna be days where it's just like, I don't see how I could possibly do this. I don't see how I can get through this. I don't see how this is all going to work out for my good because this does not feel good. This sucks right now. And that's okay. It's okay to have that day. <laughs> it's okay to get frustrated and you feel like you're doing everything you can on your end and you're not getting results or you're not getting the outcome that you want. It's natural. It's okay. But you just have to keep pushing through it. This too shall pass. This moment is temporary. You're going to make it through the other side even when it doesn't feel like it. I literally just had a day where I literally bawled because I was just like, I don't see how I could possibly do this. But at the end of the day, you just can't give up. You can't give up on God and you can't give up on yourself. So you have to keep in mind, you're being prepared, you're not being punished, even though it can feel that way. It feels like maybe you did something wrong, that's why it's taking so long but everything you're going through is gonna get you to where you wanna be. It's part of the process. And sometimes the process is hard and it's uncomfortable and it just sucks, honestly. <laughs> but it's just, it's preparing you for where you wanna go at the end of the day. So you just have to grind it out as hard as it feels and as hard as it may be. That's just what you have to do. You have to endure it. Don't get me wrong, sometimes you do make some adverse decisions that put you in situations that can prolong your process, but even then, it's just preparing you for everything that you want out of your life. So just push through it, make better decisions, and you're going to get there. Do not compare your journey. Comparison is the thief of joy. Comparing your journey to somebody else's will have you so frustrated. It has you focus on the things that you do not need to be focused on. You need to focus on yourself and bettering yourself and not what anybody else is doing. You have no idea what they went through to get to where they are. And nine times out of 10, you don't wanna to have to go through what they went through to get where they are. You want your own journey. Your journey is uniquely designed for you. So focus on that, focus on your journey and how to make the best out of it. You have to have faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not yet seen. You have to have faith in yourself. You have to have faith in God. You have to have faith in your vision. You just have to hold steadfast to that. Lack of evidence is an evidence of lack. Even when you don't see it, Something is always happening. Vision oversight. You may not see it yet, but it does not mean things are not happening in the background. It does not mean your names aren't in rooms you haven't walked in yet. It does not mean that God isn't bringing your next project into fruition. You have to hold tight to your vision. 
Your dreams have to be big. They have to be big enough and exciting enough to get you out of bed every morning, excited, ready to go, ready to work, ready to do what it takes to get there. Your dream has to be bigger than you. You want your dream to create legacy, whether it's just for you and your family, your children, or if it's for your community, or if it's for your church, or if it's world domination, your dream has to be bigger than you. You want to make impact. You want to touch lives because at the end of the day, when all the money is gone, that's all you're going to have is the impact that you left on the people that you loved or just the people that you influence through whatever it is that you decide to create, whether it be a company or music or art. Your dreams have to be bigger than your fears. Dreaming big can be scary, but your dreams have to be bigger than your fears. The lives that I don't touch are way bigger than any fears that I could have. Me not helping people, me not changing their lives, me not helping them believe in themselves is absolutely unacceptable just because I'm afraid of what other people think or I'm afraid of failing or this or that. It's unacceptable. I have to do it regardless. I have to stick it out and so do you. Your dreams have to be bigger than your fears. Something else has to be bigger than that. You have to find the gold in the season that you're in. So for example, for me, I get to spend time with my family. I get to be close to them. I get to be home more. I'm not traveling as much. I get to go out in public in peace for the most part, even though even now people come to my table at dinner and stop and talk to me, which is something that I get to adjust to right now. People stopping and talking to me and just getting used to the level of attention. I get to work on myself, I get to focus on myself, nobody's depending on me, I don't have staff or kids yet, so that's great, nobody's depending on me to eat, so I get to be kind of free and reckless and just do what I want, which is great. <laughs> and I know the time's probably going to come soon where people are going to be depending on me to eat, so I have to show up, I have to work. So I'm grateful for the calm and the peace right now because I know when I get everything I want, the storm is coming and it is not going to be so peaceful, but then there'll be other amazing benefits to it and I'll find the gold in that. So just find the gold in whatever season you're in. I promise you it's there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I hope that video was helpful. Like, subscribe. You guys could be anywhere in the world, but you are here with me and that is everything. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.